If I can just explain, please, the, um, the procedure for the uh, welcome this um, afternoon. So uh, very shortly, um, the, the new councillors and those komatu who are attending with them will be entering into the, um, into the, into the kotahitanga room here. Um, and then the, uh, and, and they would, they will enter into the, the karanga that will be delivered by the kuya. Um, and uh, when they uh, come into the, um, into the room here, they'll just make a brief pause uh, in the front here so that they can pay respects to uh, deceased friends, relatives, and, um, and confreres. And, um, and then when they finish that, then they'll take their seats along the front there. Uh, and, the, um, and then the, the first part of the uh, porphyry uh, will open with the himene, and the himene is Fakari Mai, and will be led by uh, Te Kapehu, sorry, by, the, by, um, by Hatea, by the Hatea Kapahaka. And following on from the Karakia will be, uh, from the Himene will be the Karakia. And the Karakia will be offered by uh, the Kaumatua by Te Warahi Hetaraka. Uh, then there will be uh, speeches of greeting that will be delivered um, by, uh, by uh, Mr. Dick Shepherd and myself. Um, and then following on from that, uh, and b both of those speeches will be uh, supported by uh, Wayata, once again delivered by Hatea. And then following on from those speeches, the, um, the, uh, the group who are entering the house will reply. And that will, uh, those replies will be given by the Kaumatua Hohepa uh, Rudolph and by Teopodi Fotere. And both of those will be, um, will be accompanied by Wayata. And at the conclusion of that, uh, and then I'll then announce the, um, the beginning of the, uh, the swearing-in ceremony. And at that point, I'll pass the time over to the, uh, to the CEO, to Rob Furlong, to, uh, to um, facilitate that process. And then at the conclusion of it all, um, the, uh, the, the elders will um, ask for a blessing on to, the, um, as to conclude the, um, uh, the swearing in the evening, and, um, and the wayata will be led by Hatea once again. Um, during the um, speeches, the uh, Hatea will also um, uh, sing for the, uh, the korero that will be delivered by the uh, mayor-elect by Cheryl Mai. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much.
あちらの地区で終わってきたら、こうまあ、いかれりゃ、まいめにあ、わたんがけたんてんがまくわけて、けこうとまくひびきこらまいこんがわけてちるんがこうと、けかんふん、まいまいまいまいまいまいまいまい
When you pluck the growing point of a flax bush, alas, where then does a bellbird find sustenance? If you ask me what is the greatest thing in the world, my answer would be it is people. It is people. It is people alone. First and foremost, I pay tribute to the esteemed elders for extending the ladder of gratitude for the creator of all things our heavenly father, who so graciously guided us here this evening. From the dawning of this day up to the present, his spirit still lingers and embraces us as we ful fulfill the, uh, the obligations that are here in front of us to formally acknowledge the new community leaders who have been appointed at this time. And I pay tribute to everyone here for acknowledging our esteemed elders. In years past, it was over that evening <coughs> that put in place Tikuta Itana, here in Pangare, here in Forum North. In my opening remarks, I actually quoted exactly the same thing. Likewise, with our uh, young people here, who acknowledge uh, us, the speakers, with their gracious uh, singing. When that uh, was actually exposed, all, uh, spread out among our broader community, it so happened I was uh, the dum dum at the time. And our co our esteemed co martyr said, You are to learn this, carry it forward and ensure that they carry it and hear it so that they are aware in Whangare what Te Kotahitanga is all about. Simply it means the unifying of all in unity.
hold us up much longer. I also remember, like my friend, those that have passed before us. Those that have created this thing we call Te Ao Maui and left many, many things for uh, those that come behind them for us to carry and continue this day. And so I acknowledge them and then we say farewell. But I return the cordial to each and every one of us. To all of you that have received the votes of the people uh, to be our councillors. Well done. Well done. Welcome back to the, to the old ones. <laughs> to the new ones. Welcome to each and every one of you. E ngā reo, e ngā mana, e ngā tapu, raulanga tirama, tēnā kotau, tēnā kotau, tēnā kotu katoa. Ladies and gentlemen, greetings and welcome to this very auspicious occasion uh, when we witness the swearing-in of the uh, new council uh, uh, for the uh, term that that's ahead. Uh, it gives me a great privilege to join with the elders in uh, welcoming you all uh, and into the occasion. And I also pay respects to those who have uh, passed on to our friends, our families, and our confreres, and I wish them all farewell. Uh, I would like to uh, take the opportunity to uh, welcome uh, the, um, uh, to acknowledge the elders uh, and the representatives of the local hapu. Uh, I would also like to uh, welcome distinguished guests um, the uh, uh, communities of Whangare Teringa Prawa, um, the families of the new uh, councillors and indeed the new council and the, um, and the new mayors. Uh, welcome, twice welcome, thrice welcome. It gives me um, great uh, pleasure uh, 
uh, to invite Rob Furlong, the CEO of, uh, of the Whangarei District Council, uh, to uh, facilitate the remainder of the proceedings. Uh, Te Nakwe, Rob. Auroria kiteatua, mangarongo kitefinua, en amate, otetau, otamarama, otawiki, otara, hairi, hairi, hairi atura, totato manga, parihaka kiuta, manaya kitai, tutonu, tutonu, totato awa ahatea, eriri, eriri tonu kitewahapu, o fangare terenga parawa, norera, na mihi nui, kina kai kauni hira, Hoko koto tiranga tereo karanga moti huine, tena koto katoa. Kina mana huri, no mai hari mai, ke tene, tene hui fakahiri hira moti rohi o fangare, nore ra hari mai, hari mai, hari mai. Kia kaha, kia maya, kia mana wanui, na te mea, mea ka mahitahi tato katoa. Ka tutuki te kawana tangara rohi. Ka pua wai hoki ti te tahitanga me ona tini kaupapa. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Noa ke tene whare, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the first meeting of the new Whangarei District Council, which includes the swearing-in ceremony for our, our Mayor and Councillors. Um, one of the privileges I get is to uh, start chairing the first meeting, and so I'm going to declare it open in, in a second, but I've already had a couple of requests for um, resolutions to be passed. Um, and uh, no, there won't be free lollies in the, um, in the laneway tonight, but, uh, and there's a couple of others which I'm just not even going to go into. Um, I want to um, first of all declare the meeting open and just acknowledge some people, um, in, well, acknowledge some people, just the esteemed guests who are, who are sitting over there, um, the kaumatua and, and our, our lovely kuia who, who brought us in, um, the mayor and councillors elect who are sitting over there, um, and, and the Komato who brought them in as well. Um, their supporters who are in the two rows behind them, that's the family and friends, really appreciate you coming. Uh, the Hapu are represented as a Whangarei, and uh, the lovely Kapahaka group. Um, there's WDC staff here, and of course, you members of the public. Also, want to pay a special acknowledgement um, to our trilingual signer here, Tanya, um, who's um, doing a fantastic job here for the sign language community. <laughs> Did she get that right? <laughs> um, my, my mihi, um, like, like most of the others, I, I acknowledge the, the place, the creation, the mountains, um, Parihaka and Manaya, um, the Hatia River, um, and which, which obviously flows into the harbour, which has got a, a beautiful whangarei teringa paroa, which is the gathering place of the whales, which I think is a poetic 
Um, I also wanted to also acknowledge and congratulate the new councillors, who of course are the reason we're here today, um, and welcome you as visitors. Um, before, before I go on, I, uh, the other thing I just wanted to do is just um, say to the councillors and, um, that the aspirations and dreams of this community and district are sitting with you. Um, so I've, I've asked you to um, be strong and steadfast and willing as we all work together um, to make Whangarei a better place. This is an important ceremonial occasion in which our members uh, of the new council will take their oath of office. Um, they'll swear to serve the people of this district with integrity and to the best of their abilities. And after that, they get to commence their duties. So they've been unofficial until now. Um, and I always like to make this point, being a councillor is actually a really difficult job. Um, some people think you just rock up to a few meetings and, uh, and, and eat lunch. I can tell you it's nothing like that. Um, the best analogy that I can think of is it's like being the director of a huge company with lots of different businesses. Whangarei District Council has almost $1.6 billion of assets which are managed, uh, governed by the council, and it turns over well over $100 million a year. That's a big company. And of course, the businesses range from um, rubbish re collection and recycling, uh, water supply, uh, running libraries, community events, all sorts of things. So it's a huge range of things. And so the councillors are the board of, direct, board of governors for this, the directors, and they have to think about this. And then the next minute from going from that sort of thing um, they're talking to someone about why their rubbish wasn't collected or whether, whether the uh, curb's the right height and all that sort of thing. And they've got to be prepared to wear both those hats almost simultaneously. And um, believe me, both of those things are important in their own way. And it's a really, as I said, it's a difficult job and you've got to um, work really hard. So one minute you might be meeting with members of parliament or, or ministers um, and the overseas business delegations, and then the next minute you're with a, an arts group or, a, um, or even homeless people or migrants or something like that in a different place, or as I say, dealing with a, one constituent's issues. Um, so I'm really grateful, and, and as a community, we should be really grateful for all the people who have stood for council. Um, it takes a lot to put yourself out there, um, and these days it's even tougher because social media is not exactly... Um, reticent at giving its opinions on you, um, and, and people do that um, because they want to serve their community. And uh, it's, a, it's a really time-consuming job, it's a pivotal job, it can be at times incredibly challenging, but it is also ultimately really satisfying and rewarding because you're part of the group that guides our district over the next three years and, and sets the agenda for the future. So I just want to congratulate, first of all, all the candidates who stood for council. I think that was a, an amazing thing that so many people did, and we really appreciate that. And then um, those people sitting here in front of me, the successful candidates, for your commitment to your community. On behalf of the council staff, uh, I want to welcome you. Um, some of you, it's a re-welcome, so that's that's good. And in fact, most of you, it's a re-welcome. But for the new ones, it's a, a new welcome. And encourage you to look on us as the other half of the team that that drives this district and is looking to make it proud. Um, we, in turn, promise to give you our best advice um, to implement your decisions to the best of our ability and to work with you because what we want to see is what's best for Whangarei. That's enough for me, so it's now my privilege to invite Cheryl Mai to come forward and sign the mayoral attestation. Here's a word that's difficult to get out. I, Cheryl Lorraine Mai, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of the Whangarei District Council the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as Mayor and a member of the Whangarei District Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, 
or any other act. Whew. Now. I call on Stuart Bell to give his attestation and sign the paperwork. Thank you, Stuart. I, Stuart Bell, declare that I will faithfully and impartially and according to the best of my skill and judgment execute and perform in the best interests of the Whangarei District Council the powers, authorities and duties vested or imposed upon me as a member of the Whangarei District Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987 or any other act. Sorry everyone, um, councils aren't always this bureaucratic but um, Councillor Bell has to give his full name for this legal process. So, sorry, Councillor, you've got to start again. <laughs> oh, that was just a warm up. <laughs> I was told it would be here. Okay. I, Stuart Jonathan Bell, <laughs> there you go, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of the Whangarei District Council the powers, authorities, and duties vested in or opposed upon me as a member of the Whangarei District Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, or any other act. <laughs> Thank you, Stu, for being our guinea pig. I call on Crichton Christie. I, Crichton Blythe Christie, declare that I will faithfully and impartially and in calling to my best skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interest of the Wangarei District Council the powers, the authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me a mem as a member of the Wangarei District Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, or any other act. Do I get that all right?
I call him Vincent Cockerullo. I, Vincent Peter Damien Cockerello, declare that I am faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform to the best of my interests, to the best of the interests of the, the Whangarei District Council, <laughs> the powers, authorities, and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a councillor, a member of the Whangarei District Council, by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, or any other act. I call on Trisha Cutforth. I, Patricia Ann Cutforth, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of the Whangarei District Council the powers, authorities and duties vested in or opposed upon me as a member of the Whangarei District Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987 or any other act. Call on Shelley Deeming. I, Shelley June Deeming, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of the Whangarei District Council the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Whangarei District Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987 or any other act. Call on Sue Glenn. <coughs> I, Susan Margaret Glenn. 
declare that I will faithfully and impartially and according to the best of my skill and judgment execute and perform in the best interests of the Whangarei District Council the powers, authorities and duties invested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Whangarei District Council. By virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987 or any other act. Call on Jane Golightly. I, Jane Ann Golightly, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of the Wangarei District Council, the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Whangarei District Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987 or any other act. I call on Phil Hulse. I, Philip Ross Hulse, declare that I will faithfully and impartially and according to the best of my skill and judgment execute and perform in the best interests of the Wangari District Council the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Wangari District Council. By virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meeting Act 1987 or any other act. I call on Cherry Herman. I, <clears throat> I, Cherry Margaret Herman, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of the Whangarei District Council the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Whangarei District Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meeting Act 1987 or any other act. Thank <laughs> you. 
call on Greg Innes. I, Gregory Charles Innes, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the... I'll get my glasses out. <laughs> That's better. According to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of the Whangarei District Council the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Whangarei District Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987 or any other act. I call on Greg Martin. I, Gregory MacDonald Martin, declare that I will faithfully and impartially and according to the best of my skill and judgment execute and perform in the best interests of the Wangarei District Council the powers, authorities and duties vested in or opposed upon me as a member of the Wangarei District Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987 or any other act. Call on Sharon Morgan. I, Sharon Louise Morgan, declare that I will faithfully and impartially and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interest of the Whangarei District Council, the powers, authorities, and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Whangarei District Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, or any other act. Oh, 
And I call on Anna Murphy. I, Anna Helen Murphy, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of the Whangarei District Council the powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Whangarei District Council. By virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, or any other act. Ti hei Māori ora, i ngā mana, i ngā reo, tēnā koutou katoa. Ngā mihi nui ki a koutou katoa, e te whare ai tu nei tēnā koe. I ngā mate kua haere ki tua o te arai, haere, haere koutou. I ngā iwi i hui hui nei, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Let there be life. To all authorities, all voices, greetings. Warm greetings to you all. To this house that stands, greetings. And to those that have passed beyond the veil, farewell. And to all the people gathered here today, greetings. It is with humility and gratitude that I stand before you today as Mayor of Whangarei District. Humility for the mandate I received to serve Whangarei and gratitude to the people of Whangarei for putting their trust in me to lead them for a second term. This is the ninth Whangarei District Council to be sworn in since the amalgamation of the Whangarei City and County Councils in 1989, and I am the 22nd Mayor of Whangarei. Interestingly, I'm also the first consecutive term mayor since Craig Brown was re-elected in 2001, 15 years ago. This is possibly the most inclusive swearing-in ceremony ever to be held in Whangarei. This time we ramped up the publicising of the invitation with a media and social media campaign. For the first time ever, Whangarei's swearing-in ceremony is being held on a marae, this marae, Te Kotahitanga, this exhibition hall, as a porphyry under the guiding principles of tikanga Māori. And also, for the first time ever, we have ensured our sign language community feels part of this important occasion, with a sign language invitation posted on Council's Facebook page, and our fabulous Tania Davidson, our sign language interpreter, here to translate for us. And another first for this ceremony is this hoi urungi, named te, hono, te honona, I'll say that again, named Te Honona Ngā, meaning the joining together as one, this three-quarter size Māori waka steering rudder was hand-carved by Peniamene Wherohia and was presented to the mayoral office in 2014 by the Whangarei Regional Ministers Association. It symbolises the steering of the great waka that is Whangarei on its important kaupapa. This is a journey that requires many paddlers, but has only one destination, an increasingly better place to live, work, play, and invest for our, our district's people and visitors. As now sworn in mayor and councillors, we are now on that waka, 
Our people have trusted us to take a place. They have given us a paddle to hold in one hand by which we help move it and have asked each other to put our other hand on the waka's hoi urongi that we, have, we, we may help set its course. None of us can paddle or steer this waka alone, nor should we want to. Council is the place where we put aside our egos, self-interest and personal agendas to focus on better local governance. We also cannot steer when our eyes are focused on ourselves. This is a waka of partnership with the people we serve, council staff and our fellow councillors. We partner with our people by listening to and representing them, with council staff by seeing them as our allies, and with each other by picking up our paddles of respect, integrity and hard work to help propel this, our district forward together. Council's job, as described in the Local Government Act Bill of Amendment of 2012, is to meet the current and future needs of our community for good quality local infrastructure, local public services, and the performance of regulatory functions in a way that is most cost effective for households and businesses. As a council, I know we can achieve these requirements of us and are fortunate to have a solid foundation to be working from. Council is in strong financial shape. Our new and respected Chief Executive Rob Forlong is now well established, having been in his role for more than a year. And our potential for sustainable district growth has been captured through our long term, 2020 momentum, blue-green strategy and sustainable futures 3050 plans. Growing numbers of visitors are coming here, as are young professionals and retirees setting up homes, businesses and futures. We already have firm relationships established with our government and NGO partners and with agencies like police, the Northern District Health Board, the Chamber of Commerce, business groups, Ministry of Social Development, Mayor's Task Force for Jobs, education providers and Māori through our Tikariria Strategic Partnership Forum. In short, Whangarei is in a good space and place due in large parts to the efforts of the councils that preceded us. I take this opportunity to thank the members of the previous council, and especially John Williamson, Brian McLaughlin, and Susie Bretherton, who made such a valuable contribution. Their legacy will not be lost. 11 councillors from that term have returned to us and now become the wise heads to complement the fresh perspectives of our newly elected members. Together, we will work toward a strategic direction for the coming term. And through a commitment to working collaboratively, I'm confident we will do that and do it well. I'm sure I speak for all of us in saying we feel privileged to serve the people of Whangarei and the place that is Whangarei. And do not take lightly our responsibility for kaitiakitanga, manakitanga and whanaunatanga, looking after our environment, our visitors and our people. We are honoured to have their care entrusted to us. And now, as your mayor and leader, it is my great pleasure to present them to you. Ladies and gentlemen, please acknowledge the new Whangarei District Council for 2016 to 2019.
a piti hono tātai hono rātou tu te hunga mate ki a rātou, a piti hono tātai hono rātou te hunga ora ki a tātou. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. It's now my duty to adjourn this first meeting of Whangarei's new District Council and resolve that the meeting will reconvene tomorrow at 9am in Council Chambers. And if you all come, we will be very squished. <laughs> but we would love it if you did. I would like to thank you all for coming and for showing support for our district's new leaders. In particular, I want to pay a tribute to our kaumatua, to our kaikaranga, uh, and our, ch our Chief Executive Rob, and uh, of course the councillors, as well as our fabulous Hatia, whose voices um, have enriched this ceremony. I would like to um, just finally add off, off piste, off script, um, both Sharon and I, um, uh, Deputy Mayor Elect, <laughs> Uh, went up to the, the uh, Pōwhiri for the Far North District Council this morning and we also attended the swearing-in for the um, uh, Northland Regional Council this afternoon. Kaipara District Council for the first time in many years also swore in their, their members today. And I'd just like to reiterate that the, the messages that were given at both of those ceremonies where the leaders of the region are working hard together for the people that we serve we are totally dedicated to ensuring that uh, the uh, Taitokoro is benefiting from people and leaders who work together for the benefit of, of all the people. It's so important because um, what's in a boundary? We know that um, we have district boundaries, we have ward boundaries, but we have sworn an oath today that we will serve the people of our district and the others have sworn oaths that they will serve their people and the people of the region. It's a really important day today um, that all four councils have been sworn in on the same day. I don't think that's ever happened either. Um, and now it gives me great pleasure just to invite you all to um, have a cup of tea, but if I can ask our uh, Komatua Taipari to come back on the stage and close our proceedings and bless our kai. Kia ora Taipari. Ladies and gentlemen, if I can ask us all please to be united in the spirit and to offer um, uh, karakia to ask for blessings upon the closing of, this, of the, the formalities of this evening. Um, and if I can ask Hate please to lead us in singing the hymn, He Honore. Can I ask everyone in the house to stand please?
If I can first of all ask for blessings to conclude this evening's formalities. He korodia ki te matua ki te tama ki te wairua tapu he pērā hoki i te tīma te tanga a he pērā nui nei nei a he pērā tonua a ke a ke a mene. And now if I can bless the kai. Te atu a kaharawa i te matua ra tonu ki a tapu to ingoa. Te ne matu e inu e tuna ki a koe ki a whakapai te tā matu kai. Nā wa noi hoa mai ki a matu he oranga mo te tīnana. Whāngai hoki te wairua ki te taro te ora. Ko koe hoki te atu a e ora nei, mana nei mo ngā tau mutu ngā kore. Ki a turu turu a tai, turu turu a uta. Whano, whano, hera mei te toki a hau mie. Hui e i tai ki e. Ki ora mei tatu katoa. Te nā koutou, te nā koutou, ki a ora mai tātou katoa. Good, I don't know. I get that fine, I feel. 